This presentation is brought to you by Arizona State University's Julianne Wrigley Global Institute of Sustainability and a generous investment by Julianne Wrigley. It begins with him, surfer, Santa Barbara, not Hawaii. He was an anthropologist. He was uh, studying the Pacific and, and trying to figure out the question that Captain Cook is, would say, how can you account for this nation so spread so large, the biggest nation on earth, and it's spread so far across the giant oceans? And so his name is Dr. Ben Finney. And so he, by miracle, came to Hawaii in his postdoctorate work and trying to figure out how did they do this? How did they discover all these islands and the biggest nation on earth? And he, the genesis of Hokulea and the renewal of culture and traditions was because he came to the University of Hawaii and met a woman professor at a time when you can count all the women professors in one hand. And her name was uh, Catherine Lua Mala. And she had these two books. One was Kan Tiki by Thor Heyerdahl. And this was in 1958. So it's 60 years ago that the genesis started. And the other book was The Voyagers of the Pacific by, by an anthropologist from New Zealand, uh, Andrew Sharp. Thor Heyerdahl was saying, no, nope, they drifted on balsa rafts, crashed into islands, and then that's how this whole nation got populated. Um, and Andrew Sharp said, no, they had voyaging canoes. I'm an anthropologist, I know. But they, weren't, they didn't have the intelligence to navigate more than 100 miles. So Hawaii was there by chance, by being lost in storm. Mathematically impossible to do, to drift in a storm to Hawaii from Tahiti. So this man, Catherine Luamala, gave him his two books and said, these books are wrong. Read it and change it. So she planted the seed in the anthropologist. It took a decade for him to make the phone call. The phone call didn't go to Hawaii because even if someone answered the phone, they wouldn't be able to imagine the dream of rebuilding a voyage and canoe, rebuilding a culture. He called this man. Next slide. Hawaiian. Arguably the top best artist in Hawaii uh, in modern time. His name is Herb Kawainui Kane. Ben called her and said, we need to bring back the truth. We need to be able to tell it. We need to build a voyaging canoe. So these two men, next slide, would now reshape, rethink everything, break everything down. Look at, look at this triangle, Hawaii in the north, Aotearoa, New Zealand in the southwest, and Rapa Nui, East Island in the east, 10 million square miles. It's, it's larger than Russia. It's three times the size of the continental United States. Exclude the land mass of Aotearoa for a moment, hum humbly, and add up all the total island mass in that triangle, and it can fit into one-third state of New York. Um, but now we know. Australia has artifacts from Polynesia, we know, and National Geographic is trying to put together a film about the evidence, both North and South America, of Polynesians going there. And then we also know that there are strong connections to South America, and even people are working on the linguistic connections and the genetic connections to Cuba and in the Caribbean. And, uh, and then, to make it more complicated, go behind the screen to an island called Madagascar. And the names of mountains, names of streams are all Austronesian based. It's the same root language as those in Hawaii. And that's 15 time zones of the earth. And we're still trying to figure it out. But Herb and Ben, what they did in the equation of renewal, they changed what we know about the earth and they helped us be educated. Next slide. And then they built this voyaging canoe the vessel, the, the tool that we need. This presentation is brought to you by Arizona State University's Julianne Wrigley Global Institute of Sustainability for educational and non-commercial use only.